Hi guys and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. So today guys, um, it's really just going to be a short video just on my thoughts and uh, some just talking a little bit about yesterday, about what I made the PVC pipe bow, um, things I could have done differently and some stuff I used and stuff. So I had some questions like uh, the heat gun, uh, I bought the heat gun, just a real cheap one, only cost £9 uh, from a local hardware store, so just proves you don't need the really expensive gear, just a no cheap heat gun, 2000 watt it is, um, then what else was I asked, I was also asked um, the arrows were just cheapish ones, um, because I wanted the, because I'm shooting off my hand, you, I wanted soft uh, fletching, so I want, I used feather, so I think it's from a pheasant I think, or something like that, they're handmade wooden arrows, but they're alright, I think they cost like, under fifteen pounds. They weren't very expensive at all for six. Uh, they're all right. wooden ones. Are pretty good. They shoot pretty straight and shoot seem okay. Um, just some cheap basic ones, you know. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the quiver I made um, on Friday night. Uh, made that a leather one. It's quite nice. Um, worked pretty well. Just I got a bigger piece of leather. I just wrapped it round, sewed it up one side, and then glued it as well. And then just cut a little round piece for the bottom. And glued, and glued that in. Nothing spectacular, didn't look amazing, just functional, you know, with a power cord strap. Uh, what else was I asked? Oh, yeah, and about the bow. So, when I first made it, and when I made the video, um, it was really tight, and I just seen the video. But then, after I stopped filming, I used the bow obviously a little bit more, and it became a lot, lot, lot looser. It like weared in a little bit, and the string set in, and the bow sort of curving a little bit more. It became a lot easier to use. I could pull it back a little bit more. Um, still nowhere near to my face because it's so powerful, but um, I could pull it back a little bit more and it was shooting better. And then I also took it outside as well into the yard, uh, like the compound we, we were working in where the workshop is. There's like a big yard outside. And cause it got, because it got, the sun was going down, it got darker. Everybody kind of gone home, so we could have uh, shot in the car park for a little bit. Just did a few shots out there. And um, it shoots well, especially at range as well. It shoots pretty pretty true to be fair considering how much how much tension is putting on there because I'm pulling so hard you know because when you're pulling your hardest your accuracy is a little bit off you know because you're wobbling you've got like power wobble where you're pulling so hard um, but other than that it, shoot, it shot considerably well you know I, I've never used a PVC pipe bow before I've normally used like normal recurves um, normal like fiberglass or whatever recurve bows um, but I couldn't believe it how well it did shoot for a PVC bow, you know. I am going to get hold of some one inch uh, or three quarter inch PVC pipe and do it with that. Uh, and I will show you guys as well when I do that. Um, one of my lovely subscribers uh, did send me a link for an English company that is selling the one inch PVC pipe. It is very, very expensive. Uh, I think it's 40, nearly 40 quid, 40 pounds for a three meter length. But... It's the only place it's got it, so gonna have to pay it um, unless I can get somebody from America to ship me some over, like send some to me, and I can send them the money. Like well, I could would do it like that, but anyway, uh, um, that would be good if we do it like that. But then it's getting somebody to buy it over there and send it to me. But anyway, um, but no, it shot good. So I, I really I could, couldn't really believe it, especially the power as well. The power just amazed me, you know. For something so simple like PVC pipe, how much power that could hold, you know? Like, I imagine like if somebody who's a little bit maybe uh, uh, like um, could draw draw it more, so if I could draw it a little bit more, um, then the power behind that would be incredible, you know? Because the power gun behind it anyway when I was shooting it, or like I said, after a little while when I took it outside shooting it, the power behind it was in incredible. Even from distance, the arrows were sinking right through the box, coming out the other side, and then um, so just and then going up to the, the fletching. It was incredible. I couldn't believe it. The amount of power that's behind that thing it was just in insane. Um, just for do you know what I mean? a bit of PVC pipe and some power cord. It was crazy, but super happy with it. Really happy with it. Um, you can make some improvements. I'm gonna do some stuff better next time. Um, I'm probably 
some stuff I improve on is um, get better at tying the knots. You know, it took me a while to string it up. Um, probably learn a better string up technique. I used the whole technique where you put the recurve against your shin and step through it, but I couldn't. I just couldn't get the the leverage on it to pull it up. So it took me and my brother to hold it, and we strung it up like a longbow, like I've seen on the TV, where like do you know the longbowmen like put the longbow into their foot. And then they pull it out and then push the string up. Well, me and my brother did that. So he pulled it. I held my foot. And then we both pushed it up and strung it. Um, just because it's so strong, you know. You could, we couldn't bend it. But anyway, got it strung up in the end. And it worked pretty well. Super happy with it. And I'm really happy with the response you guys left. You left some amazing comments. Really kind. Um, Millie, my little sister, Millie. I call her a little, she's not really little, she's only a little bit smaller than I am, and she's uh, 15, 16, something like that. Um, yeah, so she's really happy with all the comments and that, she really likes it, uh, and she loved filming yesterday. But yeah guys, so I didn't want to make this video too long, I just wanted to let you guys know some bits and pieces, because yesterday I was kind of rushed for time, so I was trying to fit everything in, you know. Um, yeah, just let you guys know some, some stuff, uh, about some details about it, and how I thought it went. Um, but overall I think it went really well and I really enjoyed making it and I really enjoyed shooting it I will get out and I'm going to do some more shooting with it and I will take uh, you guys with me and film it uh, just from shooting and that I might take my air rifle as well and shoot with that so when I to get some free time and some space I will go out shooting for the day and take you guys with me you know? take the air rifle out and the bow and uh, we'll have a shooting day um, yeah that's it really guys so if any of you guys got any more questions or anything you'd like to see me make. So I've, I'm getting right into this modding and modding knives and axes and and also building stuff, you know, like the PC pipe bell. I love it. I really enjoy making it, the whole thing of it, you know, researching how to do it and then learning it and then doing it. I, just, I really enjoy it. So if there's anything you'd like to see me make or mod or change, slam it down below in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. It'd be mint. I'd love that. Give me a, if you can give me a nice little project to work on. Um, but yeah, guys. So that's really it for this video. Um, if you guys would um, kindly go in the description and check out my link for Facebook and check out Bristol Prepper on Facebook, it massively helps my channel and that's where all the best stuff is and that's where you find out all the early stuff that's going on the channel. Otherwise, guys, um, as always, could you please like this video uh, if you've enjoyed it and then also press the subscribe button. And all that normal good stuff, you know, share it and all that stuff. It massively helps my channel. It, it, it vastly improves it, you know. When people are sharing my videos and other people are seeing it and we're getting more people coming. So it gives me enthusiasm to make more videos, you know. Try harder and put more money into it, put more stuff into it, you know. Because all the channel, everything is, everything I've put into it is all my own money. I don't make no, I haven't made any money off YouTube. I've just put it into it, you know. I just love it so much. It's incredible. Um, so yeah guys, please like, share and subscribe. Um, if anybody wants any of my t-shirts or jumpers, just please give me a shout. I'll happily help you guys out. But that's it really for today guys. So as always, stay prepared and I'll catch you guys another day, another way.